Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, Taurus, it's Dana. How the heck are you? Let's do some cards. Yeah, let's do some cards. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. Snuggle up to this table right here. If you're coming back to the channel, as always, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Taurus, we're going to see what these cards have to say for us today. I am a Taurus sun. Pisces moon, Pisces rising, Pisces Venus, cusp of Aries, Aries Vedic but a Taurus sun. It's gonna work like it always works. I'm gonna shuffle and pray. I'm gonna lay out a whole bunch of cards. I'm gonna completely confuse you for a good solid minute, fast forward through some of the most time consuming processes and come out on the other side with a complete and total story. So let's just dive right in and see what the heck they have to say. All right, let's do it. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me, Spirit, and Taurus wants to know what you know. What do you know about the Taurus, and what does this particular Taurus need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Spirit, what's coming towards Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate everything for their best and highest good? Tell me where that stopping point is. I will cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top. Spirit, where is the stopping point for Taurus? Right there. Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. One, two. So the first card out is the Ace of Swords, some kind of aha moment, the Four of Wands, about some kind of safety, peace, stability. The King of Swords in reverse, to the Four of Cups in reverse, to the Queen of Pentacles. Interesting. Woo-wee, the Wheel of Fortune, Taurus, wow, and the Hierophant, Devil in reverse, in the middle of the reading. To the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, to the Star, the Seven of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Prince of Pentacles, to the Queen of Cups, Soul Energy, the Ace of Wands, the Moon in Reverse, the Two of Swords in Reverse, the High Priestess in Reverse, the Princess of Cups in Reverse, and Death in Reverse for the Three of Wands. Absolutely freaking fantastic. Look, the Nine of Pentacles, the Prince of Swords, and the Prince of Wands as well. Fabulous, Taurus. All right, let's see what the heck these cards have to say for everybody here. Now remember, the only way to know your real story is to have your own cards read. This is a general reading. I have no idea whom this is for, okay? Even if it hits, even if it resonates, and I love that and I appreciate that, but the only way to know your own story is to have your own cards read, so please do not make any life-altering decisions off of my general tarot card readings, or guess what? Anybody else's, all right? So let's do this. Let's jump right in here and see what the heck we got going on. So the Ace of Swords, First card out sets the tone for everything. Aha, maybe a communication. Maybe someone speaks their truth to you. The King of Cups to the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Holy schmoly, Taurus, what's happening? To the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands, peace, happiness. Look at that, the King of Wands and the High Priestess. Well, it's starting out beautiful. All right, Taurus, you're not going to freaking believe this. I want to preface all of this by saying I really don't watch YouTube tarot too much. I have a couple people that I follow. Pluto Bean, love that guy. And of course, Baba Jolie, but she's always real bubbly and positive anyway. But I get, I get tired of watching YouTube tarot because I get tired of hearing 
everybody say how freaking wonderful things are going to be. Success, love, money, home, finance, everything's going to be beautiful. Everything's going to be wonderful. But I got to tell you, Taurus, this reading is freaking spectacular. It is spectacular. Look at all these uprights. If y'all are new to the channel, I read however the cards come out, right? If you're only reading the uprights, you're only reading half the deck because the reversals have their own set of everything, right? So, and usually there's a lot of reversals in my reading because I do kind of like a, a psycho-spiritual thing, right? I tap into the subconscious mind and I become the medium between your subconscious mind and what your soul wants you to know, right? So for me to do that, the cards have to present themselves in the reversals, which is a, a, a blockage usually um, in a major arcana particularly, okay? So these cards are mostly all in the upright and I just am floored. I'm floored at how freaking beautiful this reading is, Taurus. All right, all right. So we start out with the Ace of Wands right here, okay? Ace of Wands is uh, getting your mind together, okay? Getting your mind together, having a, a new perspective because um, there is a significant, significant relationship about to take place in your life for the healed Taurus who is aligning themselves with universal order without expectations, allowing and surrendering universal order to take place in their life, okay? This reading, I'm sorry to say, is not for someone who is flesh-based. It's not for someone who is unhealed. It's not for someone who looks at relationships as uh, part of their identity. It is not for the unhealed Taurus. This reading is for the healed Taurus that is successfully conquering their human flesh and bone experience and pointing their energetic frequency towards manifesting universal order in their life, okay? Aha moment, Ace of Swords. This is also about communication, okay? And what's going to happen is that you are about to get communication from someone, Taurus, somehow, some way, and it is not from the past, okay? This is a brand new person that you probably don't know, okay? All right. Okay, so Ace of Swords, you need to get your mind straight, okay? Because the universe is trying to divinely orchestrate into your life the Four of Wands. Long, steady, stable, safe, secure, fulfilling relationship. The King of Cups, soul energy, always soul energy for me. And it matches the Queen of Cups as we get a little bit further down. All right. So the, 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 the King and Queen of Cups, together or, re, or individually, represent to me deep deep soul understanding ancient old soul all right so not only do you have someone that is mature and in control of their emotions a grown emotional person coming into the realm of your existence but it is also a soul mate situation and i don't say that lightly i do not say that lightly okay it is a soul mate situation. The Ace of Pentacles, brand new beginning, brand new opportunity. The Page of Pentacles, communication, little communication. I really feel like for a lot of you guys that this is um, um, like a brand new freak meeting with someone standing at the gas station pump, right? Pumping your gas and on the other side of the pump, someone's pumping their gas and y'all look up and you make eye contact and it's on. It's on, okay? All right. The King of Wands, uh, that is a, a reiteration of the King of Cups. The person you're going to meet is the King of Cups, King of Wands, King of Pentacles combined. The person that you're going to meet is the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles combined, okay? So this person is going to be extremely steady, 
stable and secure within themselves. This person is going to be emotionally mature and emotionally grown. And this person is going to embody focus and passion. Okay? That's the character of the person that you are about to meet in your life to the high priestess. Why? Because the universe says so. That's why. We don't argue with the high priestess. What the high priestess says goes because she's your eternal, ancient soul trying to lead you and guide you to your true north all the time, every time. Everyone has it, everyone hears it, and the people who are stuck in their flesh and bone experience ignore it because it doesn't agree with what they think their life should be. This Taurus is surrendering and submitting to whatever their soul is guiding them to do and because of that let it be with the high priestess wow so the king of swords in reverse what's king of swords in reverse there's always a freaking problem right always a problem nothing can just freaking go smooth so for the Taurus, okay, for this particular Taurus, this King of Swords in reverse, the root definition of this card is a misuse of power, okay? And we can spin off on a bazillion different threads under the guise of a misuse of power, okay? What this card is saying is that Taurus needs, that's why this reading is happening right now, so you can be aware of this situation and how to be successful in your life. The cards are telling you that in your mind set, you are misusing your power. How would you misuse your power? By being locked down in some kind of emotional apathy. All right, walking through life, just just be bopping along in your bubble, not paying attention to the things that are going on around you. It is your responsibility to not only feel and interpret your intuition, but to also be conscious and cognizant of the cognizant of the signs and synchronicities that are going on around you. This particular Taurus is in a mind state and emotional state where they're not looking for a relationship. They're maybe even don't even want a relationship. Perhaps they want a relationship really, really bad, but they are so discouraged or disgusted with what is on the market out there that they just tuned out. It's a big bubble. And the King of Swords in reverse says, with the misuse of power, right? What's your power? Your power is your soul right here. Your soul's organizing this. You know, the universe is organizing this. The, the world on the bottom of the deck and the Wheel of Fortune down here, this is divinely orchestrated, universal thing in your life, Taurus. And if you are walking around blind, you're not going to recognize it. Seven of Swords in reverse. Break free from a futile mentality. What's the futile mentality? The emotional apathy. Okay. Six of Swords in reverse. This is mental baggage. Whatever has created the emotional apathy in you is baggage. It's weights around your mental ankles that is going to keep you oblivious to this situation when it happens. To the Eight of Swords in reverse, you've got to get a new perspective, new perspective, new perspective. What is that? The Queen of Cups, that this is a soul thing here, Taurus. This is the next leg of your soul's journey. This person is the next leg of your soul's journey. It absolutely, positively, 100% is to the two of pentacles. You need to prioritize your deep soul's understanding, okay? You need to prioritize your ancient self, your ancient soul's understanding, and break out of this emotionally apathetic bubble where you will miss an opportunity to engage with this person. So they need you to get ready, be ready, be aware, be cognizant. The Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles to the Ace of Wands. I mean, I cannot make this up. Brand new, inspired, spiritual. Spark. The Ace of Wands always reminds me of a match, right? Brand new spark. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. King of Cups, 
queen of cups, high priestess, glue in it all together. Beautiful. Look, it gets better, Taurus. It gets freaking better if you can believe it. Wheel of Fortune, divinely orchestrated steps of your path, a turning point in your life, the thread of universal order. The Wheel of Fortune, Taurus, it is the turning point to the Ace of Cups, new love, emotional growth, come out of that Four of Cups in reverse, that emotional apathy, new love, emotional growth, turning point, the sun, the freaking sun, Taurus, happiness, success, vitality. You need to see clearly, so bust out of this bubble and be cognizant and aware of what's going on around you. And the pieces of this puzzle are going to lock together. Beautiful. The Hierophant. To the lovers, this is a long-term committed relationship long-term committed relationship because the lover's card is not only about lovers, but it's about love. What happens? What creates love? Your frequency over here, their frequency over there, whether it's a person, a dog, a, a, your baby, a friend, love, okay? Love does not exist only in the romantic realm. Love is all-encompassing. Source is love, okay? And when you align your frequency with universal order, surrendering without expectation and not arguing, your energy aligns with universal order. Your energy aligns with source energy. And boom, everything is manifested. To the Hierophant, this is you, Taurus. This is you standing in your power, being spiritually wise, wanting to spiritually grow, wanting universal order in your life. And you're about to get the lovers and the Hierophant in one fail swoop. The devil in reverse in the center of the reading. Release your limiting beliefs. Look what it's partnered up with right there. Release your limiting beliefs. What's the King of Wands in reverse again, right? Misuse of power. Who wants your power? Well, the devil in the upright. Attachments that restrict your growth. They want you to take the power that you have over your existence and just spread it all over everything right? Source wants you to take the power that you have over your existence and laser focus it on your intuition all the time, every time. The devil in reverse is about releasing your limiting beliefs. What are your limiting beliefs? There's no one out there for me. No one can fit me. I don't, I'm not interested in anyone. And believe me, the dating game out there is just disgusting. It's just so gross. I understand it. I get it. But whomever this is needs to loosen up their brain a little bit. Eight of Pentacles. Because this card is about, number one, meeting expectations. Because whatever it is that you have been manifesting inside of yourself, I want a person that is um, emotionally grown. I want a person that is emotionally intelligent. I want a person that is stable, steady, steady and secure in themselves. I want a person that has passion and goals and ambitions. I want commitment. I want all of this. The expectations that you have put to the universe for this healed Taurus is about to rain down on you. The Eight of Pentacles says because you've worked it out, Taurus, because you've worked on it, you've worked it out, you've healed, you've acknowledged your soul's journey, you are ready for the next phase of your life. Six of Pentacles, and it's going to be the giving and the receiving and the sharing of prosperity with another Four of Wands in a happy, content, inspired peaceful, long-term, steady, stable relationship. Two of Pentacles. And it's going to balance out your whole life. Three of Pentacles. Teamwork, collaboration, 
okay? That's what the universe is trying to get through to you, okay? They want you to engage in this, okay? This card is about engaging. They want you to engage in this. Again, don't be in this bubble over here. Be open to it. Seven of Pentacles. Sit back, reflect, and assess upon the Four of Cups in reverse, your emotional apathy. Because your emotional apathy will cause you to completely just smear right by this whole opportunity. The Star. This is your path. This is your purpose. This is the renewal of your life. It's your renewal maybe in your faith in humanity, your renewal in your faith in love. But it is your path. It is your purpose, the Nine of Cups, and it's everything that you've ever wanted. It's wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction, the Ten of Pentacles. It is safety, security, stability, money, foundation. Yep, to the world. It is the new cycle of your life. Step out of the old cycle and into the new cycle, the new phase, the new chapter of your life. Prince of Pentacles. Don't do what you've always done. Okay? Seven of Pentacles. Take a step back and reflect and assess on how you're growing the things that you're trying to manifest in your life. Because you might be pointing everything towards pulling this into your existence, but if you don't watch out for it, you're not going to see it. Right? Look, Page of Wands in reverse. Your lack of effort, Three of Wands in reverse, is going to stand in your way. Obstacles to your long-term goals. Page of Swords, get a new snap in the mindset. A new snap in the mindset. Begin to plant new seedlings of thoughts in your mind so you can be prepared for this communication when it comes in. And look, the Page of Swords, what do we have back here? Right, we got the Ace of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Page of Swords, and we got more to come. So this is absolutely 100% new, 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 brand new, okay? The Queen of Cups, you again, right? Your soul's understanding, your soul's journey. Ace of Wands, again, the match, putting the feelers out there, being ready for it, wanting it, being aware of it. The moon in reverse, come into terms, come into terms with the big internal struggle, the eternal internal struggle, right, of emotional apathy. Two of Swords in reverse, because you're not going to see it. This is a blind crossroads. You're not going to see it if you don't peel the scales off of your eyes. The High Priestess in reverse to the Princess of Cups in reverse. This is unhealed, okay? And the unhealed aspect of this person is the misuse of power, not being being, again, emotionally apathetic, right? I mean, I've said that like 50 times, but that's what the cards say, emotionally apathetic. So that's the, the piece of this Taurus that needs to happen. Look, death in reverse, right? An internal personal transformation. Purge out what is keeping you from, from, from thinking that you deserve this. The three of wands, get ready, it's coming. Get ready. It's coming. Get ready. It's coming. Bring to an end the burden and the struggle that you have had in the past with relationships. Whatever last remaining little threads that are hanging, Taurus, readdress them. Readdress yourself. Readdress your growth. And and pull the blindfold off so you can participate in this. Nine of Pentacles, right? Standing in your power in your power, in your power, bringing a culmination to it all, Prince of Swords to the Prince of Wands, which escalates the Ace of Wands, right? The Prince of Swords to the Prince of Wands to the Queen of Wands and the Page of Cups. Holy shit. This is communication that escalates from these little pages and aces over here into like action-oriented kind of movement. If you will engage with the person that is standing across from you at the gas pump, there will be a spark. If you will say hello to some stranger that perhaps you feel drawn to, 
there will be a spark. If you will take a chance, get out of your comfort zone, get out of your head and expose yourself, this person's going to communicate with you. It's, it's literally dog park. I don't know why dog park, right? Everybody's going to go to the dog park this weekend, right? <laughs> go to the dog park and whomever it is that you're talking to be open, be receptive, send out those vibes because this is happening for this Taurus. This is happening. Y'all get nails done, right? Get a nice haircut, get your beard and good and shaved up, right? And get ready because this is coming. Put on your cute outfit, right? Put on your clean shorts, guys, right? And go out and, and expose yourself for real, for real, for real. Bottom of the deck, the world again. The world again talks about closure, the end of something and the beautiful, beautiful beginning of something else. And look, the bottom of the deck, the king of wands, to the queen of wands, the lovers and the prince of cups. Beautiful. The king of wands to the queen of wands. Y'all are going to have so much passion. You're going to have so much intensity, sizzle, chemistry between the two of you. Don't be shy, Taurus. Don't be shy. And if you're the sizzler, giving out those sizzler vibes, right? Don't, don't let someone glance away be a no for you. P pursue it. What do you got to lose? All they can tell you to do is fuck off and then you do and that's the end of it, right? But be this person. Be this person. Mm-hmm. Lovers, again, to the Prince of Cups. This is freaking beautiful, Taurus. This is so fabulous. This is awesome. Thank you so much for sticking to the end. I do appreciate it. I hope this helps someone. Namaste. Walk with me through the journey of spiritual awakening with thought-provoking insight that will challenge everything you think you know about the who, what, where, when, and why of this crazy thing called life. Life doesn't have to be a struggle. There is a better way, and your truth will set you free. We will dissect the concepts of spiritual growth and prepare you for the path ahead, your true purpose, with self-paced, step-by-step guidance to unbox your mind and free your soul.